Tuba. Big finish. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Yay! Jim Winter is the founder and president of the award-winning comedy troupe Wavelength, an improvisational acting ensemble that uses humor to train, motivate, and inspire educators. Thanks, all y'all. Welcome to my wake-up call workshop for educators. Jim's a former high school English teacher, student council advisor, and tennis coach, and was voted most spirited teacher by his students. He also worked in the corporate world as a communications trainer for Arthur Anderson, where he was voted least likely to work for an accounting firm. I believe that's pronounced Ho-Pori. <laughs> I'm a partner, Alex. Like I said, ho <laughs> Jim is a graduate of the Fame Players Workshop of Second City in Chicago. That comedy group is hilarious. <laughs> A certified laughter leader. By the way, you're in the hands of a certified laughter leader. Yes. <laughs> Two-day training. 300 bucks. Yes. You're in the hands of a professional now. And an award-winning actor and improviser. Oh, my God. I'm not worthy. Jim's got it all down. He really does. That mustache is awful. <laughs> Jim brings all that experience to present nationally and internationally, sharing the research and the techniques for using humor effectively in our classrooms and in our lives, allowing educators to understand the sense of humor. Well, good morning, everybody. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah, all good. I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you know it. That's so important in, uh, in laughter and uh, humor and improvisation to know you're happy. We got a lot to be happy about. We're all gainfully employed, doing meaningful work, and we get to have a professional development day on humor and have some fun while we do it. So it doesn't get much better than that, right? In fact, we're going to be engaging in the most significant activity of the human brain. And I thought maybe I should start, as we always do uh, these days with NCLB, with the research, because everything has to be research-based. So I'm happy to report to you that humor is proven to be very effective in a couple of ways. 